is up youtube what's cool what's groovy what's happening welcome back to my channel it's time for life so today it's gonna be me versus magnum devouring mukbanger so i'm lactose intolerant and i found the most amazing magnums they're vegan and almond so i am very very pleased with that because some of them are vegan so they just have the dark chocolate but this one actually has the almond in it. Mukbangers, they're amazing. Mukbangin is like a sport. It's like an art. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But I can tell you, you can ease into it because I've put some people on and I've also realized that some of my friends love mukbangers. So that's just amazing. Like it's, it's such a weird thing to love. It's just like those people that love pimple poppers and the crackaholics, the ones that like chiropractors when they crack. This is, this is a genre. These are three genres on YouTube that are very very popular their videos go viral all the time and yeah i love it all anywho let's get into this oh oh that can't You're asking us what is our favorite magnum. Mine is this one. No! No! Look how fast they're eating that. Mm -mm. Oh, I need to catch up. Jimmy ASMR. Oh my god. Look at that mouth. Look at that amount. Mm -mm. <laughs> Who knows at this point? Mm -mm. It's not even about it being too much sugar. How do you physically manage to eat that much? You know. It should be. It's cold. Mm -mm. I refuse to try a when I eat this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most people would. No, and there was all this whoop la la about some mukbangers that were. Oh, I love this one. I've actually seen this one before. Jane ASMR. I think she's so cute. You can't see her face, but I know she's cute. Because she got her lipstick to match the Magnum top. I just think that's cute. Now, compared to Jimmy, <laughs> because I don't go in there like that. I don't, they're eating it like it's biscuit. They're eating it like it's. What else do you eat like, just like that? Like popcorn or something? I can't. Hey, we need to. We need to keep up. Oh. This would be me, Mukbang. <laughs> mm -mm. This stuff is cold. How do they manage to do this? And eat so much of it. It looks like a kid's dream, but it's really not. Mm -mm -mm. And eating all this by yourself, this takes people days to eat. Or if you're very sad, emotional, or depressed. Okay, you have to share this stuff with six people. Okay, that's too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've eaten one by myself, to be very honest. That's like the Ben and Jerry one, which I think is maybe the same size. But, you know, they're eating this in a very short amount of time. 
Well, that was it, y'all. And I clearly lost. I, I, I don't know how people do this. I'm thinking that maybe they're doing it like this, especially because it's become like a sport. Mm-hmm. It's become like something that, just like those people who eat fast and they have to eat a lot of burgers within a ridiculous amount of time or something like that. Because at this point, I am confused. You know? Were they eating like this before mukbang was a thing? That's what I want to know. Would they go to Thanksgiving Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever holiday? And it's like, oh, that's Uncle Bob coming today. I need to, I need to buy 15 packs of Magnums for him alone. I don't think so. I think when they go to functions and things, they eat normally. Or do they not? Because I've just never come across people like this. Mm. That are really just eating like there's no tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Hey, but don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing any of these people. I love the art. I love like, especially those that cook and stuff like that. When I started watching them, then I really wanted to cook more and cook nice things and cook different things. In fact, I wanted to cook what they were cooking. But then I started watching ones that were not very healthy. And they were eating onion rings and uh, hot wings all day. So then I was craving that all the time. And there was a period of about two months where that's all I ate. <laughs> because it was so like, I love things that are crunchy. So I'll sit there and watch mukbangers. And then I'll be eating these things. <laughs> so what did you think of the video? That's another thing. They eat, this thing barely falls apart because they're no. something like this. They would just put the whole thing in their mouth. I don't know, I need food. But I don't want to be part of that. <laughs> hey! You're expensive. You're not supposed to do that. In a few years' time, we'll see whether all of this resulted in diabetes. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, not hoping that anybody gets diabetes, but this is crazy. Mm? Mm -mm. Well, there was one guy, there was one mukbanger who was like, actually, why I brought her in here is because the first time I showed her this, her reaction was very different. She's now totally used to it. Her reaction was, hey! Are they going to eat all that? <laughs> but now she's completely immune because she's seen it and she knows that this is what people do. It's become normal. Even in the YouTube streets, people used to find it weird and now it's just very, very normal. But anyway, there was this guy who used to do mukbangs and his was just like more savory food and stuff like that. And after a few years, he was like, you guys, I'm sorry, I have to stop because my health is deteriorating. We're gonna hear these stories at some point. I hope not. I hope not. But we might. What else do you have to say to the people? Eat healthy. Mm-hmm. Stop eating those things. It's not healthy. I want you to live. <laughs> but my thing is also, is there much joy in eating these things back to back to back? Because I'm really enjoying mine. I'm taking my time and I'm enjoying it. I don't know about them. Yay, I finished. There's also something to be said for these mouth sounds that they're making. You know, when I'm editing my videos and stuff like that, there were times where I would spend forever in a day, literally forever in a day, um, to remove mouth sounds, right? But in the mukbang world, it's like a very accepting world. However you eat, whether it's good or bad, it's also interesting to see how people eat, how people chew, how they swallow, how they... You know how they how they just yeah how they put the food in their mouth i find it fascinating because everybody does it in a different way but it's very interesting to see that there's no judgment there some people chew one side some people chew two sides some people chew with their mouth open some people don't some people smack some people don't some people stick their tongue out when they're putting stuff in their mouth like uh and some people don't they're very neat with it yeah I like ASMR Max UK. I think that's her name. She is amazing. She makes cake, but it's like things that are like of actual things. So she will make like a cup uh, of Sprite with the ice blocks in it and everything, but it's actually cake. But the entire thing will be cake. 
So even cake, sweets, or chocolate, and the entire thing in there will be. It will look like it's it's a cup of Sprite, but it's actually cake. And she'll cut into it, and my mind will be just like going crazy. Or she'll make a burger, but it really looks like a burger. It looks like that perfect McDonald's burger that they always advertise, but you barely get in the restaurant. Uh, except for in some countries. Some countries get it right, some countries don't. But she will get this burger to look like that. So juicy with the beef and the cheese and the tomato and the bun all glistening like the sun. And then she cuts into it and it's cake. Like, I don't know what that would do to your mind, but I think it's fascinating and she makes it all herself. And she's so well mannered and the way she eats is so cute. And you can tell that she's just an amazing person. When she posts stuff on the community chat tab, you can tell that she really in likes interacting with her followers and stuff like that. Like, she's, she's like, she's like one of my top. Zach Choi is up there. Stephanie Sue is up there. Um, B loves life. Yeah. I, I digs her. And a bunch of them. I like Jane as ASMR that we just saw and the mom and daughter that we saw in the beginning I like them too Jimmy is cool but he eats a crazy amount of food that I'm, I'm just worried more than anything but yeah they're all cool they're all cool and as long as you don't get into the drama side of uh, mukbangs because there's that you might think that's crazy but yeah there is a drama side to this mukbang world if you don't get into that and you just get into the food and if people don't eat ridiculous ridiculous amounts of food then i'm kind of cool with it because it is an art and it's beautiful and even just how they present the food for us to see like it's, it's a craft it's it's really a craft i just hope these people don't get ill so you guys it's not to bash y'all i love the food i was trying to see if i could keep up with y'all with my one magnum and i failed miserably <laughs> but this was fun to do and i'm happy I got my Magnum because I've been craving it for weeks actually, but I wanted to wait to have it um, when I do this video. So yeah, self-control much? Yeah, I'm trying over here. Anyway, if you're not part of the amazing family, make sure you hit bumps, thumb, and don't on that subscribe button, comment because I want to know what you think, like because you obviously like this video and learned a lot. And once you had it, hit the notification bell i'll see you in the next one which will be very soon big time for glorious life it's time to start what 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 living it right god bless